Hi, I'm Matt Sorensen, attorney and author of the Self-Directed IRA Handbook, the most widely used book on self-directed IRAs. Now today we're going to be talking about the IRA LLC, sometimes called a checkbook control IRA. Now an IRA LLC is used by many self-directed IRA investors as a way to more efficiently handle and invest their assets. Now it consists of two parts. First, a self-directed IRA. Second, an LLC owned 100% by the self-directed IRA. Now first, a self-directed IRA. If you have existing retirement plan money, but not a self-directed IRA yet, the first step you'll need to do is find a custodian who allows you to self-direct, who allows your IRA to invest in real estate or LLCs or other forms of alternative investment. You'll roll your existing retirement plans over to that self-directed IRA. Now step two is we're gonna have that self-directed IRA invest into the LLC. It's gonna own the LLC 100%. It's going to invest an amount of cash which you designate into the LLC. Now this is a specific LLC. It's an IRA LLC. It's very unique from regular LLCs. There's provisions in these documents that are different than a regular LLC document. This LLC is going to be used to actually own the assets. So rather than my IRA owning real estate directly, the IRA will own an LLC. The LLC in turn will own the real estate. Now the LLC is going to have an LLC business checking account. That's where the IRA money is going to get deposited from the investment from the IRA. You can be manager of the LLC. As manager of the LLC, you can manage the LLC business checking account. You can sign for checks, receive income in the LLC business checking account. When the LLC wants to go make investments, you can sign on contracts for the LLC as manager of the LLC. Now keep in mind, you don't own this LLC. Your IRA does. You're simply acting as manager of the LLC. A manager of an LLC is like president of the corporation. You're simply the person that can act on behalf of the company. And there's a few things you cannot do as manager of the IRA LLC. First, you cannot pay yourself compensation, salary, or any fees for being manager of the IRA LLC. Nor could you pay them to any other disqualified persons like your spouse or children. Second, you can't have use of the assets or benefit of the assets that the LLC owns. And third, the funds in the LLC need to be separate from your personal funds. Do not mix your personal bank account or personal assets or investments with the IRA LLC. There's a few things you need to know when you actually operate your IRA LLC. First, keep in mind the LLC should be on title to any assets. Not the IRA, not you personally. The LLC will be on the deed to the rental property, or the LLC will be the lender on the note, or whatever it is the investment you're making, the LLC is on title to that. Second, the IRA LLC, if it's owned 100% by your IRA, is considered a disregarded entity for tax purposes. That's nice because that means there's no tax return required by the IRS for the LLC. You simply need to keep the LLC active with your state. And lastly, remember, you don't own the LLC, your IRA does. If you want to take money from the LLC, you need to send the money from the LLC back to your IRA, and then you take a distribution from your IRA. You can never take money for yourself directly from the LLC. Also, when you're putting more money in, if you're making new contributions, you cannot just deposit it into the LLC. Contributions go first into your IRA, and then you'll invest those additional contributions into the LLC. Hey, thanks for watching. I want to let you know about some additional educational materials to better help you take control of your retirement. Please check out my self-directed IRA handbook and the accompanying video series. I also have an annual Self-Directed IRA Summit that is recorded and available online virtually at any time. Please sign up for my free weekly newsletter that includes my free Self-Directed Investor Toolkit. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to like and comment below, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more information about how you can better take control of your retirement.